And so it is somewhat shocking because the guy's never seen this. And when you see his reaction, you're thinking, wow, this actually is inappropriate. Why did he do this like this? Coach Greg, in today's video, is this the proper way to spot on a leg press? We have a woman, she's training harder than last time. She's going to failure. She's pushing all out. She continues doing rep after rep after rep until she cannot get her final rep. She's got the camera recording. She can't press the weight. She turns around, looks over and says, can you help me? The guy runs over to help immediately without thinking, without hesitation. And so rather than walking up and pushing on the side of the leg press, he decides to place his foot over her body and then goes to shoulder press with his leg force to get the weight up. Now at this point, she's thinking, what is going on? The guy's ass is right in my face. This is not the way to spot a leg press. I'm sorry, but many people are saying this is the most effective way to spot a leg press. This is how you're supposed to spot someone. This is not how you spot someone. It's faster to push the weight up by pushing on the side. If you waste time putting your leg over the other person and try to do a front squat with it, it's going to take you more time. It probably took him one extra second. And so this is simply not appropriate. Now, remember, she's asking for help and the guy acts immediately. Perhaps he didn't think of what is the best way. And so you can't really fault the guy for trying to help her. Perhaps he thought she'd be crushed by the weight. He didn't know what to do. This is the only way he could think of. And is this really all that shocking? Of all the things I've seen with people doing when spotting other people, this is not really all that shocking. I remember when Larry Wheels was spotting a girl in the gym, she was doing the squats and he went behind her, grabbed her like this. But remember, he's doing his best. And yeah, it's perhaps not appropriate all the time, but accidents happen. Sometimes you spot someone and you're not thinking clearly. You're just trying to ensure that they don't get injured. And so if something like this happens to you, don't act like it's the end of the world. Don't act like, oh my God, this was a creep. This is horrible. I'll never live it down. This is minor in comparison to what could actually happen in the real world. Now, one more thing to remember. She couldn't get the rep, but she was in no danger. She had the safety bars in place. Notice she's trying to get the final rep. She can't get it. And she sets the plates down. Why did she then yell for help? I mean, why do you need to sit there and ask for a spotter? You could literally have just gotten up from the leg press, got up and perhaps taken a plate off and put it back in order. Or you could have said, hey, could you lift that side? I'll push this side. We'll push it up together. I've failed on the leg press many times in the past. I simply put the weight on the bottom. I get up off the bench and I then remove some plates and I put it back to where it should be. This is easy. It's simple. You don't need to yell for help. You ever heard of that story of the crying wolf? You keep crying wolf and eventually people don't come to help you. But I think what actually makes this video, it's the man standing looking in disbelief. The reaction on his face as he sees the man stand over her and press the weight up. He's thinking, what is going on right now? It's something I've never seen before. And so it is somewhat shocking because the guy's never seen this. And when you see his reaction, you're thinking, wow, this actually is inappropriate. Why did he do this like this? I think without the man reacting in that sense, this would not have gotten so many views. Less people would have reacted. And I think there's something to consider. First comment, y'all, it's her boyfriend. I mean, really, does it really matter if it's your gym partner and you're doing this? Perhaps it's a joke. He thinks it's funny. Perhaps they've done this in the past. And so I really think it's no big deal. And one of the most popular comments this is actually the most effective way to help someone on the leg press machine. And so I want to make it clear, this is not the best way to spot someone on the leg press. If you're watching this video and thinking, yeah, the next time I see somebody do a leg press, this is what they're going to do. This is not the most effective way to spot someone on a leg press. Yeah, definitely faster than not hitting her with the stink face. Definitely better than her getting crushed by the leg press. There's a safety mechanism in place that prevents the leg press from crushing you completely. If it was actually true that you could crush yourself like that, then do whatever you gotta do. I don't care. Make sure that they don't get injured. But there's a safety rack in place and it was already on the safety rack. It has safety stops. It was already as low as it goes. And one more point to consider, if you're actually going to failure, if you're planning to train harder than last time and go until you can't get another rep why is the spotter not there in the first place rather than lifting the weight on your own i don't care if it's the leg press the squat the bench press why are we training to failure when you can get injured when you know you can't get all the reps why is the spotter not there in the first place think of how difficult this is you're a female in the gym you ask anyone can you give me a spot most people are going to say yes no one's going to hurt your feelings and make you feel like a bad person for asking for a spot 
ask for a spotter, have them ready, and they will then press the weight up to help you if you need it. Their hands are ready on the bar, and if you can't get the rep, they can push it up. Very easy. This is not difficult to spot. Now, if you're a man, if you're perhaps very strong and you have a thousand pounds on the bar, you probably shouldn't get one spotter, especially if they're weak. They won't be able to push you up. Perhaps you need two spotters. Don't forget, you're interested in harder than last time supplements. We have G Test, we have Acti Builder, we have GO2 Max, Seco Protein Bars, Creatine Protein Powder. Also, cookbooks, training books, Circle Diet Book, Coach plans by me and my team. You can get all on my website, including the Heart of the Last Time clothing line with code Greg. You'll get 10% off. Don't forget to click the link in the description. Subscribe, click the bell button, like the video if you liked it, click that bell button to get notified by more videos. Also watch one of those two bloops. And until next time, I am out.